Hey everybody, it's Shark Scrapper. Well, we have a oldie to get into today. No bass, personal computer, five and a quarter, three and a half. This should be kind of fun. It's in pretty bad shape, so I'm not worried about scrapping it. So come on, let's dive in. <clears throat> oh, oh, oh. oh, wow, that was easy. They usually don't open up that easy. <laughs> oh man. All right. And set that shell aside. I don't know if we're gonna close this one up or not. We'll set the screw aside too, just in case we decide to close it up. So we have this is not a slot card, it's just some connectors. That's pretty common in the older PCs to find these. You can put those with, after you take them out, uh, take them off of this bracket and then those can go in your gold connector ends. Now here we have a nice gold finger card for selling to board sort. You want to take the bracket off. Very easy, just unscrew those. Sometimes those are brass if you want to take the time to check them. This one also has a lot of gold jumpers on it. A nice socket mounted IC and a bunch of other components. There's a nice big oscillator. So if you're into depopulating, this is also a nice card to depopulate. Piece of plastic. All right, power supply. Well, I'm guardedly optimistic because these screws are coming out very easily. Hopefully that will continue. I just noticed something about this PC that is going to be very interesting. I'm, I, I'm going to show it to you here in a minute. Once I get this power supply out of the way. Look at that, there was no heat sink, no heat sink on the CPU. And look at what kind of CPU that is. That's so weak. Here, let me show you close up once we get it out of here. One screw, plastic latch. Another plastic latch. And there's a couple more plastic latches there. I think those will just pop off. There we go. So look at this. This is a very nice old card. We have an IC there. Let's see if it's a gold or a silver. Ba, 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 ba. Yeah, I don't see any gold inside of there, but that's socket mounted, so you can take that off. We've got this 486 Texas Instruments. That's in really good shape. Now, what's interesting about this is it doesn't take up all the pins in the slot. You see that outer row of pins? Let's be careful here because this one's really nice. This one might be a collector. Yeah, that's in really good condition. Nice and clean. 
Microsoft Windows compatible label right on it, 486DX2-80. Very nice, the gold pins are all in really good condition. So I think this might be going in my collector's bin. Okay, uh, large socket because a US quarter will fit inside of that socket. So then it's uh, just a question of, do I pull the socket mounted ICs before I send it off to Chris? You're allowed to do that, but recognize that you're lowering the weight. Well, you're trading the weight for one payback to another. Look at the tiny, tiny, tiny little CMOS battery. All right, that, that's just a beautiful, beautiful card. Very nice. All right, now we have the five and a quarter inch drive. And I think you can see there that there's gold fingers there. I don't normally mess with these, but that's got, looks like a decent board on it. So we're gonna go ahead and get in there and pull that out. Let me get this wire out of here real quick. Some of you may have noticed that I'm not taking the gold connector ends off of my wire. There's a couple reasons for that. One, my local scrapyard that buys my wire does not require that I remove the ends off of the wire for my number two. And they still pay me a really good price for number two, so uh, no concerns there. The other reason is because I live so far away from board sort that it is not necessarily cost effective for me to ship connector ends to board sort. So, um, I just leave them on my wire. All right, now we have an empty shell. Uh, let's go ahead and just throw that cover back on real quick. All right, now, This drive, I don't normally mess around with these things. They normally just go to the shred. But I'm curious about this board because it's got gold fingers on it. Not real big, still it's a gold finger card. Easy enough to get to. And that's a real nice gold finger card for Chris. Got some nice components, older components, gonna have some good materials, so. Uh, if you are into depopulating, of course, you could pull the gold fingers, the flat pack. Uh, some of these older style resistors actually have gold plating inside of them, if you're into that. Uh, another IC there. And then just some tiny stuff over here. But for me, it's over to Chris. At board sort. We're going to go ahead and get this motor off since we're here. Pretty easy, just a little little uh, electric motor. Get that spindle off of there. Should come off pretty easy. Ugh. There we go. I didn't cut it, I was just using that to pry it out. And the motor goes in with the motors, and are you brass? Yeah, that's probably coated brass. So that's brass. We have a nice piece of copper right there. And a couple little pieces of 
board here. Let's just see what they are. What the heck? We're here. Let's just be curious. Well, that one doesn't want to unscrew because I kind of messed it up. Kind of, sort of messed it up. Yeah, just low grade. Not worried about it. Get the wire off of there. Into the low grades. In with the wire. There is one more motor here. Let's see. Maybe those screws, I might be able to get that. I'm gonna go right with the screwdriver on this. Not the electric power driver, but the hand screwdriver. And see if a little more delicate touch will work with it. There we go. Nice motor to throw in your motor bucket. Most yards don't care if that's still on there because that green, that metal plate is going to be a tad bit difficult. But let's find out if this one wants to cooperate. Yeah. Ah, very sneaky. So because that screw was on a motor, it was a reverse thread. Very interesting. All right, so now you can see the beautiful copper inside of there. That's just gonna be ferrous. Yeah. Couple of little screws there. Let's see how easy those come out. Wow, some of you are saying, holy cow, I can't believe Shark Scrapper is doing that level of micro scrapping, because I normally just scrap. I don't usually micro scrap. Whee! So I realize that, that for some of you, this is a moment. You're having a moment. All right. That is, uh, you know, nice copper. Now, if you really want to get carried away, you can unspool all this copper. But here's the, the thing. It's a little bit difficult because you see all these little T's? Um, those don't break off real easy, if they break off at all. And then you got this problem of, you know, you got to unspool it. Now, let's see here. We can get that one to break off. See, it really doesn't want to play nice. Yeah. Let's see. Ugh. Even when we get it to break off nice, now we goobered up the copper a lot. So I'm just throwing that in with my copper motors. All right, and... That's just a bearing, so that's no longer a motor. So that'll go in with your shred. But that might be aluminum. The center part is ferrous, but the body part is aluminum. So I'm gonna put that in with my breakage. In fact, I'm gonna throw this whole thing in with breakage because, let's see, we might, Right now, this is definitely breakage. But we might be able to clean it up relatively quickly here for the aluminum. Maybe. We'll see. Again, I know y'all are saying, whoa, what's going on? Is Shark feeling all right? Scrap into this level. The sacrifices I'm willing to make for you. <laughs> Somebody commented on um, a printer video that I did recently. 
and they said, you know, I know that, that there isn't a whole lot of value once you get the boards and the motors off, but I can't help myself. I find, I just keep digging in and digging in. And like I do that sometimes too with scrap. I just can't help myself. Once I get started, I keep going. It takes a certain amount of discipline to say, no, stop. All right, so that came off pretty easily. Now we've got cast aluminum here. One, two things left to get off of here. Let's see. Yeah. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Ah, come on, don't do this to me. We're almost there. We're almost there. you were gonna beat me did you no way screw okay now we have a nice piece of clean aluminum and we'll go ahead and throw that in with the aluminum I'm gonna put that in with the breakage sweet so wait yeah very nice all right put in with the little metal bits Get these screws out of the way here. Nothing there to get excited about. There's probably some tiny little gold wire in there somewhere. Power supply, we're just gonna cut that cord and put that in with my power supplies with no wire. If you wanna understand the math behind that decision, I have a video on that. I'll link it. Oops, that was stupid. Come on, shark. What are you doing here? Brain disconnected for a minute. All right, wire goes over there. Power supplies go over there. That's what I get. See, I start talking sometimes, I can't think. <laughs> Help me, I've started talking and I can't think. All right, everybody, that was a fun scrap. Uh, so remember, power supplies, return on investment video. Uh, it's either going to be linked there or it's going to be at the end of the uh, video. Maybe in both places to help you find it.